Beta-hydroxybutyrate is a four-carbon fatty acid with one extra oxygen add added to it, beta-hydroxybutyrate. A good microbiome, given a good source of fiber, makes something called butyrate. Four carbons, no, no extra oxygen. They differ by one molecule. Both of them are superb fuels for gut mucosa. They both have anti-inflammatory effects in the gut, although the anti-inflammatory effects of beta hydroxybutyrate are probably better. So if you're worried about gut health on a pure carnivore diet, if you've got ketones of 1.0, don't worry. My liver makes probably 100 grams of, of beta hydroxybutyrate a day. I'm guessing, but based on good science from other people who may be healthier than I am, the gut probably needs five to 10 grams of either butyrate or beta hydroxybutyrate a day. So I got plenty left over for my brain. Now let me try to be a little bit provocative and throw some stones at other studies. So this looks at the problem of weight, re, weight regain, weight re, rebound in multiple studies. Um, some of them were very calorie restricted diets. So the green line here that goes up to there to there, that's called the direct study that was published in the Lancet a couple of years ago. And this is a formula roughly 850 uh, calorie formula diet to treat people with early stage diabetes. What they do is they have the people follow this, take this liquid formula providing only 850 calories a day for three to five months, and then they have them go back on a healthy diet. So this drop here is three to, f um, uh, three to five months of, of drinking a liquid formula, and then when they go back on a healthy diet, their weight starts going up. Uh, the purple here is a very low calorie. This, is stu this stu study was actually published in the 1990s, but they used Optifast at 500 calories a day for three months. Then they took them off the Optifast and told them to eat a, a low calorie diet for a few months. Then they put them back on Optifast, but you can see great response initially, but the second time they had them drink this 500 calorie a day formula, it didn't work. And it probably didn't work because once they've been on it and went off it, when they go back on it, the body is, the, the signals to the brain are so intense to eat that they couldn't adhere. But anyway, they did this for, and, and I really credit um, this, this team in Pittsburgh, uh, Dr. Rena Wing and her team, because they published these data, because they showed that it went, it, it, the, uh, uh, this is weight went down. And, but when they went back on the low calorie diet after the second try of the very low calorie diet, by the end of a year, they're going back up and much of their weight was regained so, uh, by two years. So this is a dramatic change in their weight, uh, both down and back up. And this is a classic response. And then the, the blue here in the middle is Verta. And we go down, we stay down at one year. And then there, as I showed you, a slight weight regain. This shows hemoglobin A1C changes. Again, you get a much bigger drop when you're on, a, on an extreme diet, uh, but then it goes right back up when you no longer follow the diet. If you have something that can be sustained long-term, you have a much greater likelihood of achieving lasting benefit.